Nobody ever talks about this, but I see it as a very reoccurring theme that might hold some people back and might trouble people and might prevent people from actually reaching their fullest potential. I see it all the time in comments. People are like, my parents don't think music is a legit career. My parents won't let me study music production in college. La da 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 And let's face it, being a music producer or pursuing music is not the most success guaranteed career that you can take, but there are three things that really helped me with my parents, prevented a lot of butting heads. Um, it's just stuff that I think will make your path a lot smoother and even maybe help them to understand and support you a little bit more in what you're actually trying to do. So here are those three things. The first thing that I tell everybody, you have to prove to them that this is what you're supposed to be doing, right? If you are saying, I want to be a music producer and they see nothing from you, no sort of progress because there's no communication of your progress, it's going to be really hard for them to sit there and be like, oh wow, little Jimmy is actually doing what he's supposed to be doing. So I think that is big. If you can prove to them, if you can come to your mom or your dad and be like, hey, I just sold this beat for a couple hundred dollars. Look at me, I'm doing this right. That will give them a little bit more confidence to actually invest into what you're doing and actually agree and support you and maybe cut you a little slack and understand your dream a little bit more. But if you are on the flip side and you're like, I wanna do music and all you do is like play drums in your garage and you're not actually showing them anything that you're doing to move your career forward or show them that you're doing anything to actually improve what you're doing, it's really, really, really hard for them to actually believe in you and actually see what you're doing and actually see a future with it. My mom still to this day always says to me, she's like, I didn't even know all of this was possible. And I'm like, well, yeah, I had to prove it to you, which is okay, which actually brings me into my next second point. You gotta understand who they are and you gotta cut them a little bit of slack. If your parents are anything like me, they probably are from a different generation. The world is a very different place right now. The internet is a different place. Everything is changing so drastically. The thought of somebody making money from music online or in the real world, all they knew was like, four superstars when they were growing up and there are not many people were actually making money. It's a whole different world. So cut them a little bit of slack and understand that maybe they didn't come from a place that you're coming from. It's hard for them to understand it. So with cutting them some slack, you need to be a little bit more patient and actually showing them what you're doing. When I was first coming up, I would actually give my parents like a little bit of an analogy. My mom and dad couldn't fathom the fact that somebody would actually pay me to have their product in one of my videos. I said, guys, people watch the videos, right? Kind of like how we watch TV. It's like a commercial inside of a video. And they're like, oh, okay, I guess that does make a little more sense. You know, I just have to break things down like that, maybe give them an analogy for them to understand. But also you need to remember, and this is just for everybody, not just your parents, but you have to cut them a little slack in the sense that it's hard for people to see your vision, right? We are in it, right? We believe it and we see it. And maybe we see other people that are having success within the music industry or within beat making or within being a producer. So we're like, oh my gosh, I see it. That guy did it. It's so possible. Your mom and dad aren't watching these YouTubers or watching other producers online to actually do their thing and see success. So they are never going to be able to actually comprehend it at the level you comprehend it at. So it's your job to understand that maybe they don't fully comprehend it and maybe they'll always have those doubts. So you need to now give them the information, show them, hey, look at this guy, he's doing this and he gets sales doing this, this and this, and I'm doing this right now, so I can now have the same amount of sales. Show them, right? Show them what it means to do what you actually do and how you're seeing success. So instead of getting like super mad and be like, oh my God, my parents don't understand it. And you go downstairs, lock yourself in your room and make 50 beats. And they're just like, what is this kid doing? You actually have a little bit of a game plan and they can actually understand your game plan and they'll be more likely to maybe support you, understand it and be like, oh great, he's going down to make some beats. Great, he made $100 last month. Let's see if he can make $200 from his beats. Like that'd be really cool, right? Make it a little bit of a game, help them understand. I think that's very important. So cut them some slack. The third and final thing is, if all else fails, be respectful, but continue to chase your dreams. It doesn't have to be screw mom and dad, I'm gonna do what I want, but you might have to ignore their opinions to become what you actually want to become. And even as you see some success, there still may be some doubts. They might be like, oh, is this sustainable? Is this actually going to continue to do this well? Once again, it goes back to my point of it's hard for people to see what you're actually trying to do. So when those doubts continue to come in, once again, go back to the other thing. Don't get too frustrated. Their doubts may always be there. You might have to ignore them a little bit. And I always say this too, and I've heard someone else say this. If you go and chase your dream and maybe defy what they believe a little bit, they're gonna be way prouder of you and way happier for you that you actually did what you wanted to do and you gave it a try. Even if you fail, they're gonna be like, hey, you did it, you tried it, you know, good for you. If they're actually happy for you, they'll be happy for you. 
um, which I think is beautiful. So definitely continue to chase after what you truly do believe in. And hopefully they will respect that. They should respect that. But yeah, those are my three things. So we had what? Give them proof that what you're doing is working. Have a little bit of understanding. And the last one is they may never understand it, right? So continue to do what you have to do to chase your dreams. You may have to ignore them a little bit, but don't be disrespectful, right? Be still nice to your parents if they're nice to you. That's kind of how I did it. It worked out for me. Uh, my parents still have questions all the time about what I'm doing, so I try to fill them in always. Uh, but yeah, that's how I did it. I'm running out of breath. I'll see you guys next week. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, my social media course is down below if you want to learn that. I have some sample packs down below. I don't know. This video might only have been like three minutes, but I think it's very important stuff. So see you next week. Let me know if there's anything you want me to talk about. Peace.